Hey guys, as you know, I'm uh, massively advocating Minecraft on the forum because um, I think it's a very special little game. So I just thought I'd show you a little bit of some of the stuff I've gotten up to um, in the first sort of 24 hours that I've been playing it. So this is the game world you're looking at here, um, very beautiful. It's winter in my game world. Um, the game doesn't have seasons yet, that's something that's coming in, in dev. Um, and so some of the games you select will be winter, some of the games you select will be summer. If you get a winter game then it snows all the time and the sort of sea freezes over and that, though there are patches of water and stuff. But yeah, the, the, the world's all generated as you move, so once it's generated and it's there, it sticks like that. Um, but until you move into a new area, that world doesn't exist, if you know what I mean. And when you get there, it's generated. But there we go, there's a little cow over there. Um, I think you can punch it to death, which might be something that's fun to try. So let's give him a punch in the face. Yeah, there we go. The graphics, you've got to understand the graphics are are deliberately kind of a little bit smelly. Um, it's to, kind of, it's to make it work on as many, many machines as possible. And also there's a lot to the game, although it's very, very simple to control. It's deceptively simple to control. Um, Everything is done... Um, through the the nine sort of key buttons, you know, um, AWSD to move around and stuff. Um, if we head over here, now that that cow's dead, there's a sheep there, we'll leave him for tonight's entertainment. Um, and if we try and head up the slope here, I should really put stair, stairs there, I haven't done it yet, but I really should because if we come up here, we'll see the front door to my house. There we go. Some windows and a front door. So if we go in, uh, close the door behind us to stop anybody following us. Uh, we head in, and this is my main room. There's the skylight up the top that I've been spent the last few hours building. Um, I'll show you what all that stuff is. Oh, that's the crafting table. So this is what's used to to make stuff in the game: picks and swords and armor and all that kind of stuff. Um, over here, you've got the furnace, which um, when you mine ore, you need to turn that ore into um, usable metal, and, and that does that for you. And these are chests where you can store stuff. Uh, when you die, everything that's on you kind of falls on that spot and you've got 15 minutes to get back to that spot and pick it all back up or it disappears forever. Um, but if you keep your stuff in a chest, you know, if you collect stuff, mine stuff, put it in the chest, it can't disappear. Um, now, if we head down here, this is the left wing or west wing as I call it. Um, I've not really finished developing this wing yet. It's kind of just a corridor for all intents and purposes. Um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, back to the main room and head down the right wing or east wing. And this is a little side door, a little secret entrance. Um, if I ever need to escape, if bad guys ever come into my house, God forbid, I can get out here hopefully and run away like a child. Um, if we go back here, as I say, um, the the world of um, Minecraft is, is essentially infinite horizontally um, and it can go very very high as well but the the game world has a depth it has bedrock that you can't go beneath and the very best ore stuff like diamonds and gold are hidden all the way down there as well as the lava which will kill you instantaneously and it destroys your inventory if you die to it um, so if we head all the way down here uh, this took a long time to dig this tunnel and i died quite a few times but i dug all the way down here kept on going kept on going um, and eventually i hit bedrock which you'll see it kind of looks a little bit different to all the other blocks. Kind of looks almost like static. You'll see it here in a second. There's that block there to the left hand side. That one there. Um, that's bedrock. So this is just a big, massive strip mine essentially that I've got my pick there in my hand and I've dug away. Um, you can see I've just stripped all the ore out of here. Found some diamonds and some gold and stuff like that. Uh, if we go over here, you can see there's one there. It looks a little bit different. That's got you can't really see because the light's not very bright, but it's got coal in it. Coal's really vital for torches and uh, your furnace to smell and stuff like that. So you just dig away and find some cool shit. Uh, if we head back, um, head up this top, oh there we go, uh, there's some iron I didn't even know was there. Iron um, is much less rare than stuff like gold and diamonds but you use a lot more of it so it's actually a much, practically it's much more rare um, because you just don't get much of it to, to, to use and you, you go through it so quickly. Uh, now if we head back up to the front room, it'll take a little second for me to climb back all the way up the ladder that I had to painstakingly lay each each second that I, sort of you build two layers down, you lay a torch, you lay a ladder and then you keep going and sometimes you fall to your death and it's all very frustrating but, but it, it, the game feels very fair, it always feels like it's your fault, you've made a mistake, you learn from your mistake and move on, everything's 
the controls are simple and everything is common sense. If you try to take risks, then the chances are you'll get bit on the arse. So back up here to my front room and put a little staircase here. Then we've got my staircase um, all the way up here. That passage, I'll explain what that is in a second. Yeah, it just goes to a dead end at the moment. Uh, we've got up here, there's my skylight, all the way up to the top, open the door, close it behind me. And this is what I thought was the top of the hill that I was building into. We look out here, we walked in from that direction to the left there, sort of past those two islands. There's a pig down there, you can see. Um, but then I got all the way up here eventually, um, turned round, and it turns out that I'm only about halfway up the mountain. Here's my sky out there. Um, look, the whole mountain's there. There's the sun shining bright. So I'm building that passage at the back to, you know, to go a bit, explore, explore it a little bit. This little bit up here is my roof terrace garden. I planted some trees here. Um, wood's always in short supply, so I've planted some trees, and uh, that one's actually grown now. So. Um, so yeah, that gives you an idea of some of the things I've spent, some of the some of the time I've spent in the last twenty four hours. I really like this game, guys. Um, it's so cheap; it's only eight pounds, um, and the fun that we could have with a, a CV server that just doesn't even bear thinking about. I just think that for eight pounds that will run on any machine, this is going to be one of those great experiences. I've already put easily eight pounds worth of time into this, so I hope you all join me and we can have a bit of fun on the CV forum. Speak to you all later. I'm sure I'm going to do a part two uh, once I start exploring a bit more, start finding some caves and stuff. Um, so join me for that. Bye-bye.